Between 1618 and 1648, Europe and her people were in the clutches of war. A war that was fought amongst different nations for various reasons such as religion, land, dynasty and trade rivalries. Once the war ended, Europe was broken and its map had completely changed. While the historians mark the year 1618 as the beginning of the Thirty Years' War, its foundation had already begun a few years earlier. It began when the Holy Roman Emperor Ferdinand II tried to impress Roman Catholicism in his territory, where he was the King of Bohemia. His act infuriated the Protestant nobles of Austria and Bohemia, who rebelled against their Catholic King. Ferdinand II was victorious in the revolts which took place for five years. The King of Denmark, Christian IV, had lost his Baltic provinces to Sweden earlier, and in 1625, wanting to compensate the losses, he tried to capture important regions in Germany. In 1629, Christian IV's attempts were all in vain, and it also saw Denmark lose its position as a European power. On the other hand, Gustav II, Adolf of Sweden, also invaded Germany after he ended a war with Poland, which had lasted for four years. Gustav II Adolf was an anti-Catholic and after winning several German princes, added them to his cause. Meanwhile, Poland attacked Russia and established a dictatorship in Moscow. Poland's future king, Vladislav, took over Russia as its dictator. The Russians soon drove the Polish out in 1634 with the Peace of Polyanov. Poland had always desired Sweden, and now that they were out of Russia, the Polish went after Sweden. The Swedish were already entangled with Germany. There were three major religions and their leaders were always seeking war. Roman Catholicism, Calvinism and Lutheranism. Europe was in chaos, and the prelates and the imperials summoned their alliances from overseas to help them gain an upper hand in Europe. The struggle was mainly between the Roman Catholics, which was the Holy Roman Empire, along with Habsburg, were up against the Protestants and anti-Catholic powers of United Netherlands and Sweden. Along with this, there was another rivalry that was happening parallel to this, which was between the Habsburgs of Spain and the Habsburgs of France. The Habsburgs of Spain were conspiring against the French and had already built anti-French alliances. All these conflicts seemed to happen in German grounds, and the country, along with her people, suffered the most. When the Thirty Years' War was happening, most of the soldiers or men fighting in the war were those who did not get their pay. Therefore, all the participants of the war ravaged the villages, cities and towns as they crossed and took with them whatever they could. By the time the war came to an end and the powers met in Westphalia in Germany, Europe was a changed nation. Spain was no longer dominant in Western Europe and it had lost Netherlands. France had emerged as a ruling power in the West now. The Swedish now had Baltic and United Netherlands has gained their independence. All the member states of Holy Roman Empire were given supreme authority. The concept that the Empire of the Roman Catholic was headed by the Pope and an Emperor earlier was no longer functional. Europe was now a modern country and its states were independent.